Hey guys, in Christmas 2017, Google handed out a whole bunch of manual reviews in the form of unnatural links penalties. Now, hopefully this didn't happen to you, but it happened to 95 sites that I got my eyes on. And I analyzed these sites, I did a bunch of surveys, and I found out all the patterns that were involved in these penalties. So check out the video. If you like what you see, give me a like down below, ask some questions in the comment box. I'll try to do more of these in the future if you guys are digging what I'm putting out. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Matt Digney, and I'm going to be going over this latest round of manual review penalties and natural link penalties that Google is handing out on Christmas Day, December 25th, 2017. Now, thankfully, knock on wood, I haven't had any of these penalties myself, but a bunch of my friends had, a bunch of people in the community had, and I just went down the rabbit hole on trying to figure out what was going on with this and trying to find patterns, conducting a survey to gather data on it. And that's what I'm about to present to you right now. So basically, on December 25th this year, 2017, Google started handing out a whole bunch of unnatural link penalties. So these are manual actions that will show up in Google Search Console, and it's basically a manual penalty. So it's, let's see, it's on the 26th, it's my evening, and I get a message from one of my buddies um, over in a more western hemisphere, and he's, He's saying, hey man, I got a whole bunch of uh, site penalized, uh, natural links penalties. Uh, they, I woke up and they were in uh, my Google search console, so they must have happened on December 25th. So we're going to dig into what, what went on with these things and try to find some patterns on what might have caused them. Now, amongst the carnage, so these are some pretty popular sites that you maybe have heard of before. 10 Beasts, which got a lot of press you know, on Viper Chill's blog. And um, it was just a you know an awesome website, very small website that was ranking for a lot of crazy affiliate terms. Really cool site, and Supplement Police too, which is a very I don't know if you're in the separate supplement affiliate game and you're trying to rank for different supplements, you almost always see Supplement Police in the tops of the SERPs. So this is a huge authority site related to supplements, and this one got hit too. Is this related to the December 15th update that was labeled Maccabee? Um, I'm not quite sure. So Maccabee, uh, Glenn Gabe reported on it. Um, it's quite interesting. He did a really cool blog post talking about this uh, algorithm that was affecting celebrity sites. So like even official celebrity sites like John Lennon's uh, celebrity, you know, official site, fan site. And Charlie Sheen don't rank for Charlie Sheen and John Lennon anymore. So is this related to this December 15th thing? I'm not sure. Like, it's a different date. And also on top of that, like, this is, it targets this, the Christmas one was targeting a different type of site, as you'll see on the next slide. And um, it looks like it would be for different reasons than, than I don't know, this John Lennon, Charlie Sheen had issues. So... We'll look into that shortly, and, but I'm just thinking that they're separate things. Again, I don't have any hard evidence on that, and I don't think anybody does, but um, I'm thinking that they're separate things. So I put out a survey. Uh, I wanted to collect massive data, and I put out a, couple, a survey and spread it around Facebook groups to try to get people that were affected by manual actions to chime in and say, you know, what was going on, um, what kind of linking strategies they were doing, what, was, what types of sites they had. I had 44 respondents, and of these 44 respondents, 95 money sites were reported to get hit, which we're going to get into later. Um, as you can see, many people had multiple sites that were hit, which is quite interesting. We're going to, we're going to touch upon that. But as you can see here, this question says, what types of sites are yours? So um, like, are they affiliate, are they e-commerce, local, or other? There's a heavy, heavy weight on this being an update that affects affiliate sites, which also, also makes it different from these celebrity sites. So a big part of it was Amazon affiliate, and then a huge chunk was non-Amazon affiliate. I think there was like two e-commerce sites affected, two local sites affected. In the other category, one of them was like an informational blog, a porn site. Um, but as you can see, heavy, heavy on Amazon affiliate and non-Amazon affiliate. Can we put blame on Amazon affiliate? No, I mean, this is just the proportion of 
probably what most affiliates do when they're doing affiliate. Most of them are Amazon affiliates. So I wouldn't say that Amazon is the reason or some kind of attack on Amazon at all. So in the next slide, um, I, I got some feedback from like locally focused Facebook groups like Lion's Yield and Local Client Takeover. And there's a lot of feedback supporting this idea that uh, it, this is an update that's mostly targeted towards affiliate sites. Although some people did say it did affect their local sites, but I got a lot of comments of people saying, you know, everything seems fine in the PBN local realm and I'm local, 100% safe. There, a lot of these comments came up. So this is kind of supporting what the survey is saying. So what actually went on? What was going on? That's what we're trying to dig into. So I, uh, first, just a quick disclaimer. <clears throat> I'm not pretending to be able to crack the code and figure out exactly what happened in this update. But I'll look at the data and I'll look for patterns and I'll present them. But we have to remember that at the end of the day, these Google updates in the last year or so are purposely confusing. We haven't seen an update that was very cut and dry like Penguin that just goes after backlinks. Like they're doing multiple things at the same time to purposely confuse us. Because it, I mean, it's in their, their best interest. If they simply targeted one type of link building and then we can put the data together, then we just don't do that type of link building anymore and we can move on. But uh, from what the data shows, you'll see that um, it's not just targeting one technique, and the data, the data shows that. We see multiple, multiple link building strategies get hit with this unnatural links penalty, the manual review. Now, okay, here's my basic chunk, the basic chunk of my survey. Now, I had people come into the survey and I asked them multiple questions. I also gave them the opportunity to comment on uh, up to 10 of their sites if they did have 10 sites that were affected. Now, here's the questions I asked them on what they were doing. I asked, was this site, like site number one, for example, were you spamming on tier two? So were you doing like a, a tier one of web 2.0s and then hitting in them on the tier two of GSA or SAP, for example? The reason I asked this question is this is basic like Penguin 2.1 stuff that came up and just checking to see if this is just something that uh, is already in the spam filter, just rolling over again and checking itself. Uh, the second question I asked is, were you using scholarship links? So we, I had a lead on this being po possibly a cause very early, like one of the first conversations I had with someone that got penalized said that they were using scholarship links and 10 Beast was using scholarship links as well. So I wanted to ask, and there was a high volume, 40% of these guys were using scholarship links and we're definitely going to very soon. Uh, people asked if you were using niche edits, so getting link insertions into existing articles. There's a decent amount of volume here. We're using PBNs, also a decent amount of volume here. Um, bear in mind, this is mostly, the survey is mostly going out to my audience and people that are in my circle, so these are probably expected to be quite high, um, just because that's what people do uh, in, in my circles. Now, the last one is quite alarming, uh, using editorial links or guest posts. So, um, I mean, a lot of people are just using these as techniques to rank, but I want to delve into this and see, like, were any people that were just using editorial links or guest posts or quote unquote white hat techniques affected? And it's definitely true. So if we look at the number of people, let's just go back to this slide, that said no, 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 and then yes, meaning that they don't do any of this other stuff, but they're just doing editorial links and guest posts. Here's what the stats look like. 22% of the sites were doing just white hat techniques. I mean, we can argue about what white hat means, but what I mean by that, and I've asked the, these people individually, what do you mean by white hat? And they said manual outreach. I'm going out and emailing people, offering to do like guest posts or, you know, the typical outreach for links exchange kind of thing. And these guys were definitely hit. Um, this is quite alarming to me because this is, you know, supposedly the, one of the most kosher link building techniques there is. And um, it's quite mind boggling too. Um, this is something that I'm digging into more and more. I don't really have any insight onto what they were doing or what part of this manual outreach was triggering a review. Was it, you know, they're getting too many guest posts with author boxes that totally scream out that this is a guest post. 
I'm not sure yet, but this is definitely something on my radar and I'm going to continue to dig into this. So let's go back to the survey here. Uh, I want to talk about PBNs. So PBNs, there was 29 out of 95 sites that were hit were using PBNs. That's 30.53%. So the question is, were PBNs affected? Again, 30% 30, 30 of the site surveys were using PBNs. If we look at the sites that were only using PBNs, that's 8.25% of these surveyed sites were only using PBNs. So that's a thing right here. If you're only using PBNs and you got hit, uh, then that, you can pretty much say this has to do with PBNs because this is an unnatural link penalty. What is this proportionally something to be alarmed about? I mean, it's not even as big as uh, people using editorials or guest posts, which was uh, let's see, 22%. But it's something. It's something to think about, and it shows that this isn't just something that was targeted to white hat guys. It was also targeted at PBN, too. Um, I heard reports of some networks taking some small losses. Uh, myself, I took a little bit of loss. And uh, big losses, especially on the people, the private blog owners that were penalized. Up to forty percent. So Diggity Links, uh, my links, my link, my link network lost one point two one percent of the network. So this is quite a small percentage. Interesting fact, though, <clears throat> when I started to dig into these PBNs that did get de-indexed, that did get removed from Google's index, I can trace nearly all of them to money sites that had something in common. They were all using a different, specific type of link. And that link was scholarship links. Now check this out. This is a pretty high percentage of sites that got uh, hit that were using scholarship links, especially considering like how much of a how much this tactic is used. I guarantee not forty percent of all link builders and website owners are using scholarship link building. So this is an unproportionately high number of sites that were penalized in comparison to how many people use this technique in the first place. And on the other side of things, like on the other hand, I've asked people and people have reported that that they're using scholarship links and they have zero issue with their sites. There's no penalties. And in fact, one of my buddies, Kapil from India, he's like the scholarship link dude. Um, he used to use this as a very, very strong ranking technique for him. And all of his websites are fine. So there's, there's evidence in both directions, but check this out here. So let's get back to 10 beasts. Remember the site that we were talking about earlier? Guess what? This one's recovered. It's fully on its way back. I don't remember what it was ranking for for best gaming mouse before this penalty hit it, but it's back on page one. It wouldn't be on page one if it were still penalized. So <clears throat> I talked to the owner, uh, Luckman. Sorry if I got your name wrong. Uh, cool guy. You're a real awesome guy, by the way. Um, and he said, this is what he did to recover. He contacted all the EDUs that he was getting for the scholarship links, and he asked them to remove them. For the people that he couldn't get in contact with, he disavowed the rest. He had a few spammy Web 2.0s that he removed, submit a reconsideration request, and he's back online in five days. So this is, uh, well, just to back up a little bit, Lookman is not the owner of the site anymore. He, he sold the websites under a new ownership, but this is what he did for the new owner because it was a recent sale. So this is quite amazing. This is very strong evidence that, I mean, the, the two possible uh, link categories that were affecting and causing this review were the EDUs and a few spammy Web 2.0s. So, it's pretty strong evidence that this is saying that the scholarship links were causing the problem. And yeah, so would I recommend to you to disavow your scholarship links? I, I'm not sure yet. Again, like everything is based on speculation, but this is pretty strong evidence in my opinion that scholarship links were the cause for at least 10 beasts demise and removing them was a big part of getting it back on its feet. Okay, here's another aspect of this Christmas uh, banhammer spree. Penalties were handed out in mass, meaning that if you had multiple money sites, there's a good chance that you got a bunch of them hit. And this is scary. So in the survey, uh, 44 respondents, 95 penalized sites, that means 
people had more than one money site hit. And I have reports of smart people getting, like what I mean by smart is I know these guys, I know the type of SEO they do, I know they're detail oriented. And I've gotten reports of them saying, dude, I lost four sites, I lost seven sites, I lost 10 sites. And if we look at the survey again, this is why I gave people the option of answering for up to 10 sites because some people really did lose 10 sites. Now this is freaky because assuming we're not doing anything silly like uh, putting all of our websites in the same Google Search Console, which is old school bad practice, and that's like definitely going to clean sweep you when one of them gets hit. What what kind of footprints are they looking at to tie these money sites together? And and again, I'm, I'm saying that these guys that reported multiple sites getting hit, they're smart dudes. So some possibilities of the footprints that could be getting you is, you know, look at hosting footprints. Are you hosting them all on the same IP? Uh, do you have any who is footprints or like back to hosting? Do you have the SOA record showing you know your name and then that, that can be connected? Um, are you linking from the same websites? Is there an outbound link overlap? Are you using the same referring domains, referring URLs to link to multiple money sites? Uh, definitely, as I said before, don't put many sites in one Google Search Console. That's really really bad. And maybe DMC, uh, not DMCA, what are they talking about? Uh, HTTPS, you know, security certificates. So make sure you don't, uh, if there's a name attached to it, make sure it's not the same one over and over. Uh, and that's what I'm talking about with SSL here. So in conclusion, here's what we got. Manual outreach, money sites were affected. This is weird. I've never seen this before. Um, this is something that I'm digging into more. And it's quite alarming, if you ask me. Uh, some correlation with PBNs and niche edits. I mean, there was not zero people using, or, or there was a decent amount of people that were using PBNs and niche edits that got hit. Strong correlation that scholarship links were hit. So yeah, man, uh, that's what I got for you. Um, I'm still digging into things, and I will let you know if anything comes up. I I if I see anything else that could be causing these manual reviews to trigger. But also just stay tuned, and um, coming up pretty soon, the owner of 10 Beasts and I, we're going to sit down for an interview. I want to ask him more, not just about how he recovered the site, but also how the site grew, what his story is, and, and yeah, just find out what is up with that site, because it's super interesting to me, and it's probably super interesting to you. And again, whenever anything gets figured out regarding these penalties, I'll be right back with you, and I'll let you know what I find out.